Okay, welcome to this ASMR video. It's been a while since I've made one, but I thought it was a good time to, a good opportunity to make a, a decent ASMR video. Um, so I got this package in the mail. Of course I ordered it, but uh, I just wanted to open it for you guys and we'll take a look what it is. Okay, you can see this in the full, uh, full picture. It's a, it's a book that um, was extremely popular when I was a child, growing up in uh, prim primary school, and. Um, well, here in Australia, anywhere, I'm sure it was popular elsewhere. Uh, the book is called The Stinky Cheese Man and Other Fairy, Fairly Stupid Tales. So it, I, this book, let me explain how it was back, back in the early 90s. And when you're in school, I guess, you would, um, you would have a library and you would have to, you could borrow books as a child from the school. This book in particular was, there was like a waiting list to read it. It was that popular. And this one is, it's a thin, very thin book, but the one I had as a child I think I ended up buying it from the library when it was available because I loved it so much. It was a hard cover book, really, really thick cover. It was covered in plastic, so it'd have this crinkly noise every time you turn the page, which was very soothing to a child who didn't know what ASMR was. It wasn't even in, uh, invented back then. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this book. I'm not sure if it's still popular, but, um, it came out in 1993, I think. It's, it, it's just such a, a great book for kids. I think I loved it because of the, I was blown away by the design, the illustrations. That's half the reason you buy a book as a kid, because of the, well, the font and the design. Just look at that, it looks incredible. Uh, there was a book that I got before this one, it was about a pirate, it could have been Blackbeard or something. But it was by the same, same uh, authors and illustrators, John Sieska and Lane Smith. Hope I said that right. We'll just uh, we'll just flip through it and uh, see if any memories come flooding back because it's. It's been a while since I've read this book. I'm more interested in the designs. The aesthetics. Get this in frame.
Once upon a time, Chicken Lickin was standing around when a piece of something fell on her head. She wasn't the brightest thing on two legs, so she started running around in circles clucking. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. You must tell the president. There was a show, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but maybe in another future video. There used to be shows on, I used to watch as a child, uh, like Play School and Sesame Street. And they would read books to the camera. And there was another show called The Book Place here in Australia with the bookworm, which was an arrogant, obnoxious bookworm that would interject when they were trying to read books to kids. Um, but they, they had a very, they had a nice lady on there that read books. And I think there was a guy as well, he had a really soothing voice. But even just the turning of the pages, was really relaxing. It just put you at ease. The table of contents was a film discussion. It's such an inventive book. I as I said before, the design, um, it's very cut out animation. It's very, very weird animation, but beautiful. And I'd love to kind of take from this style. It's like it's um, cut out very, very much my style, indeed. But this looks like it's been painted. It's so inventive. Where as a kid, this would blow your mind. And the book was so popular, it was always out. And they had like a, there was a thing called the Scholastics Book Club. And you could order um, books through your class. And then you'd have the book eventually delivered to you and you would you would go through a list of books and you'd see the one you wanted and you would it was like a brochure and you'd tick the uh, book that you wanted and it would in a few weeks it would come in but the the art style of this book is just amazing Cinder Rumpelstiltskin.
piece of bacon or prosciutto or something, two olives for eyes, a slab of cheese. The stinky cheese man. Once upon a time there was a little old woman and a little old man who lived together in a little old house. They were lonely. So the little old lady decided to make a man out of stinky cheese. She gave him a piece of bacon for a mouth and two olives for eyes and put him in the oven to cook. If this isn't a thing of nightmares, I don't know what is. It's beautiful. And she opened the oven to see if it was if he was done. The smell knocked her back. Phew, what was that terrible smell? she cried. The stinky cheese man hopped out of the oven and ran out the door, calling, Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the stinky cheese man. The little old lady and the little old man sniffed the air. I'm not really very hungry, said the little old man. I'm not really all that lonely, said the little old lady. So they didn't chase the stinky cheese man. The stinky cheese man ran and ran until he met a cow eating grass in a field. Wow, what's that awful smell, said the cow. Let me see the little cow there. The stinky cheese man said, I've run away from the little old lady and the little old man, and I can run away from you too, I can. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the stinky cheese man. The cow gave another sniff and said, I'll bet you could give someone two or three stomach aches. I think I'll just eat weeds. So the cow didn't chase the stinky che cheese man either. The stinky cheese man ran and ran until he met some kids playing outside school. Gross, said the little girl. What's that nasty smell? I've run away from the little old lady and the little old man and the cow and I can run away from you too, I can. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the stinky cheese man. A little boy looked up and sniffed the air and said, If we catch him, our teacher will probably make us eat him. Let's get out of here. So the kids didn't chase the little stinky cheese man either. By and by, the stinky cheese man came to a river with no bridge. How will I ever cross this river? It's too big to jump, and if I try to swim across, I'll probably fall apart said you know who just then a sly fox who shows up in a lot of other stories like these poked his head out of the bushes why just hop on my back and i'll carry you across stinky cheese man how do i know you won't eat me trust me said the fox so the stinky cheese man hopped on the fox's back the fox swam to the middle of the river and said Oh man, what is that funky smell? The fox coughed, gagged and sneezed. And the stinky cheese man flew off his back and into the river where he fell apart. The end. sneak out of here. Just turn the page very quietly and that will be the... Shadow 
colors and every the coloring. Published in 93, written in 1992. Um, that's weird. The illustrations are rendered in oil and vinegar. It's interesting. I have to look that up. The technique and the artist. It's a very good, very cool book. These were books that made childhood such a wonderful time. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, support the channel, please. It really helps out. So, thank you very much for watching. Peace out.